Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, I am getting ready to start on my hair. This is how I have been wearing my hair all week. In a very, very high puff. And I truly, truly, truly am enjoying the massive puff. The more I look at my hair, I am amazed at how fast my hair is filling back in, thickening up, and just getting overall healthy as I've been paying more attention to it. Okay, in the last video, you guys, you saw me detangle my wash and go, and since then, I have done a co-wash with my wind cleansing conditioner and a deep conditioner with the Cantu Shea Butter and just used the Cantu Shea Butter leave-in conditioner and sealed it with my sealing oils. However, my hair feels soft, but my hair is very, very oily, which I do not mind. But I have to, I've noticed that I have been spritzing it every day with a warm water mixture to keep the moisture content up. And I think the reason my hair is not absorbing the moisture right now is because I need to clarify my hair. I need to strip everything off of it between the wash and go and the gels and everything else. I need to clarify my hair. And I'm not going to use a sulfate shampoo this time around. I think I'm going to revisit my clays. I have a previous video on bentonite clay. And I'll link that in the eye somewhere up here. Or I'll put a link in the description box or either both areas. And the bentonite clay, I really did like how it defined my curls. How it also clarified my hair. But the bentonite clay was a little bit rough on my hair. So I want to try a mixture of two other clays at different times of course along with the bentonite clay. So the bentonite clay of course we all use the same one is the Aztec healing one. I got this one I think on Amazon but you can also get it at uh, Walmart I believe, Vitamin Shops, iHerb, Whole Foods. You can pretty much find this one everywhere. This first time the blend that I'm going to use I'm going to use the bentonite clay and uh, you can't see it. Razul clay? Yeah, I think that's what that is. Razul clay is this one. So I'm going to do a blend of bentonite clay and razul clay. The razul clay, I got this on Amazon. It is a finer powder clay. So I'm hoping it's, it's more gentle and easy to get out of my hair. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how I mix it. And probably in the next video, I'll show you how I apply it to my hair and what my curl pattern looks like with it on. And the other clay that I'm going to try at a different time is going to be kaolin clay. The glare is amazing. But this is the clay that I put in pretty much all of my soaps to help uh, with the smooth feeling of my bars of soap. It is the more of the more economical clay. So it's very, very easy to find. I got this on Wholesale Supplies Plus. And I believe this is a this is a five pound bag, and I probably didn't even pay fifteen dollars for it. And it lasts a long time. Each loaf of soap only takes maybe a teaspoon to two teaspoons per five pound loaf of soap. Okay, so stay tuned for me mixing the bentonite clay and the razul clay. Okay, guys, here goes the mixing. And for my mix today, I will be using razul clay, one part. Bentonite uh, Aztec Healing Secret Clay, two parts. For my fluid, I will be using a mixture of apple cider vinegar and water. Four ounces of apple cider vinegar and four ounces of distilled water. But in the distilled water, I have brewed one tea bag from my marshmallow root leaf tea. I'm hoping that would add some slip to my mixture. Okay, also I will be using a funnel and also... An applicator bottle just to put the mix into this bottle to make it easier for me to use and put on my hair a little bit less messy I'm hoping I am also using the same bowl that I used to mix my henna in and a silicone spatula okay stay tuned for the mix okay guys here's the mix I've already poured in a half a cup of bentonite clay this is the one-fourth cup of the razul clay and this is a full eight ounces of fluids, but I'm not going to pour it all in yet because I want to gradually add it and see if I need all of it or not. And the fizzies that you see is because the acid from the apple cider vinegar mixing in with the different clays. And I think I'm going to need all of the fluid from the looks of it already because I want a much looser mix. 
because I do not want this to be so thick that I it takes extra extra work to get it off of my scalp. I have had issues with clay in the past because of that. Okay, I'm gonna put some more fluid in. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of it. That was the full eight ounces. If you make your clay and it turns out to be too runny, that's okay. It still works just fine. I actually like the more looser consistency because it makes it easier to get it out of my hair. And I probably should have let this rest until the bubble stop before I started mixing so I can just see how much clumps do I have in there. There is a gnat in here flying around guys. I hopefully <laughs> he's not a visitor on the camera. Yeah, there's still some clumps in there. I think I might have added just a little bit too much fluid. Okay, so hold, let me go get some more. I think I'll add Brazil clay since I have two, almost a full cup of bentonite clay. Alright, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to add an additional tablespoon of the Brazil clay. And mix it as I go. So I don't want it to get too thick. Alright, I'm pumped the rest in there. This might be too loose, guys, to do on camera, so I might have to apply this and then come back and show you guys what it looks like in my hair if it helps my curl definition pop out more. Applicate the bottom and a funnel. All right, let's go. Mm, that's easy. Clumpy, though. It's all going through the funnel just fine. I'm gonna use my popsicle stick because obviously it's a clump stuck in the in the nozzle. Yep, there it is. Cap on it, and I'm gonna do some extra shaking. And as you guys can hear, it is very, very watery. I'm not gonna take my, <laughs> I'm not gonna take my finger off the top of this cap until it settles down some. Okay, I'm gonna open it up a little. Hear it? Yeah, <laughs> look. <laughs> clay okay let's see and that is it out of the bottle very smooth so it's going to be a messy application so I am going to come on after I have applied it to my hair or if I might do I might do it for you guys but stay tuned in the next video for the application bye